What up, what up, what up? So, I'm on my way to work and wanted to chat really quickly with you guys about envy. What that looks like and what that feels like. Lord. If you know me, you know I would not be doing this because well, since I'm on camera, I guess I have to. Or envy can sometimes have different different layers to it. Um, there are people who are envious because they aspire to be just like you. There are people who are envious who just don't like, you know, your growth and, and don't want to see you succeed. Be um, honest, we've all been in some form of envy at, at certain points in our lives, whether we want to accept it or not. I know for me, it's definitely uh, an envy when other people aren't growing per se, but they are moving forward with life and I seem to be really stuck. And that's natural. I, I just want to point that out. Having that as a an energy that comes when you see somebody else grinding and you guys are within the same caliber, so to speak, and you aren't moving forward, um, it's natural to say, dang, I want to, you know, progress. Uh, for example, you know, me and this whole blogging, YouTube, all this new stuff that I have no idea what I'm doing and have tried to have direction, but hey, it is what it is. I, um, I sometimes get discouraged and that turns into an envy. When I see a YouTuber that, you know, puts out a video and has 20,000 shares on Facebook and, and 12 million subscribers and a thousand comments, like it all gets overwhelming because you want to be able to you, you want to be able to be successful as well but what I have learned in my journey and what I have learned along the way is everybody's success tastes and feels different and it's gonna be that way my success is gonna come in a, in a, in a different form than another youtuber success or another um, blogger success um, it does not all have to look like that other person and your faith Ooh, your faith you have to really stand in your truth and ask yourself what is bringing on this negative spirit of you know not even a hate because it's not a hate envy and hate are different um you can hate somebody and literally just hate them and envy is you care about somebody or you admire something about someone and you just feel like they are progressing and you just want to do the same thing so um but your faith it needs to be very strong it needs to be um very in tune with whatever progression you're trying to have. i am really really big on motivation right i'm big on inspiring i'm big on telling people you can do it you just need the right resources and i can't be envious of someone that's doing the same thing and the reason being is because that defeats what I'm doing, right? Like, if you are a gardener, okay, and someone tells you, oh, I've seen this other gardener's work and it's so good, and your focus is to make everybody's landscaping um, beautiful, right? You can't be envious of the fact that someone else is making somebody else's landscape beautiful because that's your that's your purpose, right? That's the reason why you're doing this is because you're trying to perfect their landscape and if someone else is doing it then so be it the job is getting done the job is getting done so um i'm still struggling with it you know um i still struggle with discouragement every day uh it's hard to put these videos out it's hard to be in a in a good platform or have a strong platform when you feel weak sometimes the 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 goal is to continue to push through very envious people can be very hazardous if you don't catch them it's important that you identify what version of envy people are at where they're at in their life and how you can help them grow their their struggle is having people around them that aren't genuinely supportive and i think that's where it starts too is actually really supporting these people that you admire and want to be just like and not just kind of brushing it on the rug when you see something exciting you know a prime example is for me if i'm a youtuber right 
or uh, a social media personality, right? And I see another social media personality post a hilarious video. It's gonna, it's gonna be received well by a lot of different people. It's wrong of me not to share because that's showing a form of envy. Basically saying, you know, I dislike your work, but I don't because I enjoyed it. And instead of sharing it with other people that might not necessarily know about that person or just, you know, being a supportive um, friend, you know, I just ignore it and move on to the next. That's not fair. And that's how support does not happen. But I don't want them to get too strong of an accolade if they get too much support. So you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. You have to learn what type of envy you possess and learn what type of envy others possess. Um, you know, sometimes envy is simply a form of fear. That person is fearful that they're gonna be stuck and that they can't progress. And it is our opportunities if we are genuine and if we are true to the way that we say we are, it's our opportunity to let them know that they can grow. Let them know that they can do exactly what you're doing. Well, not exactly what you're doing, but something similar to what you're doing if they work hard. And allow other people to build other platforms. You know, it gets very tiring to constantly be the one at the top. It's okay to let somebody else succeed so that you can take a break. break. That's why I'm sure people like Beyonce, uh, uh, Michael Jackson, when he was living, it was great when new people would come out and, and, and steal, the, steal the show a bit because they got to sit back and watch the fruits of their labor, and so to speak, because those people that are succeeding were inspired by them, you know? So it's okay to not always feel like I got to beat everybody to the top. Yeah, you're gonna get there. You know, I'm very confident in saying I'll get where I need to be. But does that stop the discouragement? No, not at all. And you gotta learn how to, you know, cut it off and keep pushing forward. Some advice that I would give in regards to being envious is pray, obviously. Um, ask yourself, what do I need to do to have peace with where I'm at in my life? What do I need to do to be comfortable enough to where whatever they're doing over there isn't bothering me? Except that people are going to grow quicker than you sometimes. And you always get to see people at the top when you work hard. Anyway, so I, I hope that this video resonated with you. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Share with all your friends. Leave a comment. And always remember, be loved.